Spoonbills and Shorebirds Wildlife Photography Workshop, a three-day Florian safari for next March 2014. Do you know where is the best spot to photograph spoonbills in Florida? Hello, my name is Stephen Blandon. I'm an award-winning professional wildlife photographer. I will be your instructor and tool leader for this wildlife photography workshop. Florida is one of the best states in the United States for bird photography. This workshop will take you to the Tampa Bay area, which is home to a few fantastic bird hotspots. With three boat rides, we will photograph at rookeries only accessible by boat. Two boat rides will bring us to the very best area to photograph rosea spoonbills in the state of Florida, Alafaya Banks. Alafaya Banks is comprised of two islands, Sunken Island and Bird Island. Those islands were man-made in the 1920s as a result of deep digging in the Elafaya River to connect to the main Tampa shipping port. The spoils give birth to a few small islands on which mangroves started to grow. The islands developed into a remarkable rookery for more than 20,000 breeding pair of birds across 20 species. Spoonbills are very well represented on Bird Island with one of the highest concentration in the state of Florida. Most importantly, as the birds are going back and forth from the nests, there are somewhat predictable flight trajectories that a photographer would be delighted to leverage for superior flight photography while the birds have breeding colors. During nesting season, spoonbills have brighter pink colors along with rusty colors on the tail and around their eyes. While half days will be devoted to spoonbill photography at boat accessible rookeries, the other half days will be geared towards shorebird photography at Fort de Soto Park. Middays will be spent around very valuable Photoshop tutorial sessions, photo critics, and nap times. To me, Fort de Soto Park is the local Yellowstone of Florida. Besides the usual wading birds, we will photograph reddish egrets, even maybe white morph reddish egrets. The main attraction of this spot is the diversity of shorebirds. I will demonstrate the best field techniques to photograph small shorebirds such as sandpipers, sanderlings, marble godwits, terns, willets, skimmers, and many more. You might even be able to photograph one of your first female longbill curlew. I will make sure you have a good feel for my flight photography techniques for shorebirds. You will see that with some know-how, those creations are within your reach. Contact me by email or by phone to book your spoonbill and shorebird photography workshop.